Today, I want to talk with you about plan B in your life. So often, we strive and we push and we want something to happen, and it just doesn't. And no matter how hard we try, let me tell you a story. There was this man for years. He prayed and he worked for this woman to fall in love with him. Well, the woman just did not love him. And I would say to him in counseling, I said, it's as important for you to have someone that loves you equally, that is willing to give back to you. And he would just shrug his shoulders and continue to go on for years of his life until finally he came to the realization that this love is not going to be returned. And then he found someone, oh, what a wonderful woman he met. And I was honored to do their wedding. And they today have the most blessed life. And secretly, he'll say to me that it was the greatest thing, the greatest God gift that ever happened to him, plan B in his life. In Second Chronicles 15, verse 7, the Bible says, Be strong, do not be discouraged, for your work has its reward. Some of the most important dreams are dreams that we may abandon in time. Some of the most important goals are ones that we may not obtain. Some of our most important journeys are ones that we take to the winding conclusion of what seem to be dead ends. Thankfully, with God, there are no dead ends. With God, there are only opportunities to learn. If you look for the silver lining, to yield, to trust, to serve, but most important, to grow spiritually. The next time that you experience one of life's disappointments, don't despair and don't be afraid. Instead, open yourself to plan B. Consider every setback as an opportunity to choose a different path, a greater path than you ever conceived of in human mind in the beginning. It's wiser to do this. I have known people that did the opposite, that became a victim and grieved for the rest of their lives. That's not faith. Have faith that God will indeed be leading you in an entirely different direction, a direction of God's choosing, most important, God's blessing. And as you take your next step, remember that what looks like a dead end to you, <laughs> it may in fact be the fast lane, according to God, to what you can really have, something much greater than you can conceive of, in this moment of time. I wish you God's blessings. I wish you greater things than you have even dreamed of. And I wish you many blessings in the plan B's of life.